<laughs> Praise the Lord, saints. So good to be coming to you live with Thursday Night Live with Prayer Valley Church. And uh, as always, I'm anxious to minister the Word of God to God's children. And uh, man, we're com- we're in a season right now where I feel victory. Yes. Amen. Amen. Uh, and, you know, I feel victory because there has been some battles. And we are in battles. We are in yes. warfare. Yes. The enemy is our constant enemy. He doesn't lighten up and doesn't let up. So we walk in victory. We're not survivors. We are victorious. Victorious. That's Amen. Right. Amen. Uh, before we get into the word, though, I want to give Pastor Beth an opportunity to announce a few things okay, that are coming up. There's just a few. Of course, we know that... Um, if you need to know more information on uh, like Impact Day and the youth camping trip, you have to see uh, Sister Kelsey for more information, all right? There you go. And then, of course, we have on March 31st, it is uh, Resurrection Sunday. Whoop, whoop. We're going to have communion. And the greatest thing is invite somebody because the kids are having an Easter egg hunt. They're going to have so much going on with the children, and so are we. Amen? Amen. Invite them for Easter Sunday. Yes. When they get in there, we'll lock the doors behind them, and then we'll have them. <laughs> Amen. Right, right? And then we'll just uh, pray that they get saved. How's that? Yes. Hey, let me ask you a deep question. Out of all the things that God created, the Bible says all things were created by Him. Without Him, nothing that was created was created, right? Right. What is, what's the one thing in heaven that's created by man or that was made by man? Man, God created man. <laughs> What's the one thing in heaven that was created uh, that was made by man? Well, tell me. The scars on Jesus. Yes, that's Amen. Good. Amen. Think the about scars that on for Jesus. a minute. That's Amen. right. Oh yeah, that's yeah. Good. Isn't that good? Yeah. I uh, I'm I have a there's I I don't listen to a lot of people. There are a few people. Uh, there is a Christian philosopher psychologist that I listen to. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's Christian, but yet he's not uh, he's not all holier than thou and religious. Uh, his name is Jordan Peterson. I listen to him. Of course, I listen to Jensen Franklin, uh, not all the time, but I have to get word also, right? Amen. Um, Charles Stanley, of course. Oh, I love Charles Stanley. And uh, he's went on to be with the Lord, correct? Yeah. And, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, there's, there's not very many um, that I do listen to. There's a couple more uh, that I'm not thinking on right now, but um, I wanted to say this, that you know, that we, we really need to study the Word of God. Each of you needs to be equipped, well-equipped, uh, to endure and to overcome uh, the next seasons that we are getting ready to go through. And having a shallow uh, walk with Christ uh, or just a, a, or just a uh, occasional, you know, hallelujah relationship with the Lord uh, is probably not going to surmise or get you through what is getting ready to unfold I agree, uh, in Pastor. the world, right? Amen. And so yeah. we need to uh, we need to have a real relationship with the Lord, mm-hmm. a deep relationship. And I'm going to talk a little bit about that tonight in reference to 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 David, King David. We we reference him as King David, or the or the little shepherd boy David, right? Or this yes. the slayer of Goliath. How's mm-hmm. that? And uh, but. If you'll turn your Bibles with me, if you have a Bible, if you're driving, don't do that, right? If you're listening uh, and driving or coming home from work, don't do that. But uh, another thing I want to say is don't forget to share these messages. Don't forget to share Sunday service. Don't forget to share Thursday Night Live uh, because I believe that we are in a sequence of things that God is saying to us. He is. Amen. That's right. And uh, he's, he uses lots of vessels and he's using me for this particular word. So yes. uh, turn your Bibles with me if you can to the book of Psalm chapter 9. Amen. Psalm chapter 9. And I want to talk to you about gratitude and thankfulness and having the right kind of heart in that uh, having the right kind of mentality towards God. Uh, and, you know, I mean, we should all, we should be in awe of God, oh, mm-hmm. literally. We shouldn't come before God prideful or arrogant or, and, and we don't always have to come before God guilt-ridden and 
right? Right. But we need to come before God as a father that has communicated his will to us perfectly. Yes. As a father that loves us so much that he, he was willing to sacrifice. Amen. A father that cares more than anything or anyone could ever care. Yeah. And he cares about you independently and individually. The way you love your children, I hope. Uh, I have four children, seven grandchildren. I, I And one day, God willing, I'll have great grandchildren and I'll... I'll love them too the same. Amen. And and uh, unconditionally, independently, uh, but not. F I don't have any favorites, right? Some of them may walk in different favor and different uh, diligence uh, and reward and all that, but they're not favored. How's that? Yeah. The Book of Psalm, chapter nine, verses one and two. I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. Now, this is David singing unto the Lord, all right? He's singing. This is a poem, a poetic song, that, and David uh, was a, uh, a minstrel, and he would play his harp, and he would sing before the Lord, and I will give thanks to the Lord with all my heart. I will tell you, Lord, of all your wonders. I will be glad and exalt in you, O Lord. I will sing praises to your name, O Most High. Now, I added the O Lord, not in a way that uh, is adding or taking away from the word. I added it so that you understand mm -hmm. that when he says, I will tell you, he means, I will tell you, God. Yes. I will tell you, God, of all your wonders. I will be glad and exalt in you, Lord, yeah. right? right, who he's talking to. So people need to know who he's talking to. So this is a song of thanksgiving. David wrote it, and, and not necessarily just because of this situation, because mm -hmm. David had written the, the previous six, I believe, right. uh, psalms. And, and th this one here is a song of thanksgiving that David wrote because uh, in this particular circumstance, God had allowed a victory over a foreign enemy. Yeah. Amen. So we have a foreign enemy all the time. Oh, you yeah. need to understand that the enemy is a foreign enemy, mm -hmm. right? He does not belong on God's property. Mm -hmm. He is an invader, right? And you are God's property. You belong to God. Everything you have belongs to God. Your home, your automobile, your family, your food, everything belongs to God. So anytime the enemy comes against something that belongs to God, he's a foreigner. That's right. Amen? Amen. Right. So... Uh, and, and another thing I want to tell you is, is to go a little bit deeper that technically this particular psalm is an alphabetical psalm. Uh, and what that, what that really means is, is this psalm, uh, this hymn psalm is an, uh, acrotistic poem in which each set of eight verses begins with a letter of the Hebrew alphabet, right? Right. So it's an alphabetic psalm. And which is genius? Only God could do some of the things that have been done in the Word. Well, I mean, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, God, and the Word was God. So when you begin to rightly divide the Word, you find miraculous things that God uh, has allowed mathematically, alphabetically, mm -hmm. yeah. historically, scientifically. Yes. Right? So, uh, and so in the, this alphabetical psalm, and and it talks about the first stanza like all of the I will uh, give thanks to the Lord. So the Lord being a, the, the 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 stanza being like a reference to God, or a uh, it's directed to the Aleph. You know, God is directed to the high, the Most High. Yes. Right. So David, uh, he knew God. Amen. Yeah. Unlike maybe a lot of people today, David knew God. He and, walked with them. He talked. With right. Them. And and the he knew God, and he knew God in the oneness of God. Yes. Being God, right? Mm -hmm. And and people, there's debates all the time about the triuneness of God and the Trinity, and and there is definitely a Trinity and triuneness: the Father, yeah. Son, and the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh, and David knew God in the oneness of the Almighty. Right. right? Amen. The Almighty God. So uh, 
and he knew that you are God. And this is what he's saying. I'll give you thanks with my, my whole heart, right? You are God, uh, all and only God, one God, almighty God. I know who you are. And because of that knowledge of and relationship, I'm able to give praise mm. and and thankfulness and thanksgiving, yes. right? Right. So like, you know, when you leave the gas station, you bought gas and you go in and get a pack of gum, you say, thank you. It ends right there. You don't even know that person from Adam. Right. But when you know God or when you know someone, you can truly show gratitude. And if you're, you can repeat after me, if you're there, say show gratitude. You can express gratitude. David knew who he was singing to. He yes. knew who he was praising. Yes. He wasn't making a show of it. No. Right? Uh, and, 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 and in fact, most of the time, true worship uh, comes in not just a, uh, you know, not, when, not just when we're all together, but true worship will be independent just between you and God. Right. Right? So David knew who he was praising or who he was worshiping. So let me make this clear to, to, to all of you. Vain, repetitive noise is not worship. No. All right? I know that you've been taught things in, in ministries and churches. You've been taught this and, you know, this and habits and things like that. But vain, repetitive noise is not praise nor thanksgiving. It has to be personal. Yes. It has to come from your heart, right? You the go. Bible tells us that God uh, is spirit. Now, in the many of the versions, it says God is a spirit, but God is not a anything. God is all things. Right. God is spirit. Yes. Everything has its origin from him, mm -hmm. through him, because of him. He's the devil is a spirit. You understand that? Yeah. Uh, you, you know that that there there are there are demons running around that are a spirit, but God is spirit. Is spirit. That's right. right. Amen. So even their uh, permission to be a spirit, it comes from God's spirit. Yeah. In that permission, so the Bible says that God is spirit, and they that worship Him must. Yes, must. Worship him in spirit, spirit and in truth. That's right. What is, which is always absolute. Truth is always absolute. Yes. There's no my truth, your truth, part mm -hmm. truth, some truth. It's always absolute. Yeah. It's absolute in power. It's absolute in demonstration. It's absolute in truth. You understand? There is no wavering from it. There is no adding to it or taking away from it. There is no... It is absolute. The truth is always absolute. David was singing that I will tell forth. Yes. I will tell forth with my whole heart. Mm -hmm. I will recount all of your wonders. I will tell forth of all of your wonderful works, everything yes. you've done, everything I know about you. I will be glad, right? He said, I will be glad. That I mean, I I mean, I will be glad to do it. I will exalt yeah. in you. In other yes. words, the only way that I can show manifestation or exaltation is in you. I will exalt yeah. in you. I'm not going to try to do this outside of you. No. I'm not going to try to do this of self power and self strength and self will. But I'm going to do this in you because of faith. Yes. Right. Not in self or self victory. I will exalt in you. I will be fully involved, fully engaged, fully coherent, wholehearted in gratitude and thanksgiving. Amen. That's how David yes. was singing it. Yes. Right? Not half hearted or half assed or not. It's not because of this. You know, I'm not. It's not just momentary. Mm hmm. You understand? Yeah. This is not a momentary thing. Worship is not just a momentary thing or expression. It's a life it's a style. Life. It's a whole life. That's right. Right? It's actually the, a life. Yeah, life. It's, it's the spirit life. They that worship him must worship him in spirit. spirit. It's the spirit yeah. life. Yeah. Worship is not a momentary expression. Right? It's a life expression. Yes. 
So I will be fully involved, fully engaged in Thanksgiving. Yes. Not unmindful, right? And and not just, but but I will be fully arrested, caught up in Him mm. in worship. Ooh, yeah. Right? Yes. Uh, I, I'm conscious of it. At the same time, I my own consciousness has failed me, and I have stepped into a a place where the relationship becomes so yoked. Yeah. Amen? Amen. That the weightiness of God's very presence becomes expressed, right? David was thankful for God's blessings. But this song takes us to another level in thankfulness. David is not just praising or worshiping. He is making a commitment. You understand? Yeah. He's making a commitment in this. In his worship, David is making a commitment in, in, in their relationship. I will, right? Yeah. I will. He wasn't just saying, you know, hey, yay, God, woohoo. He was saying, I will. Yeah. I serious. will give thanks to the Lord with my yes. whole heart. Your whole heart. I will tell of all your wonderful deeds. Yes. Amen. I will be glad and I will exalt in you yeah. i will yes when my enemies uh well that's i'm, I'm that's i will praise your name oh most high most I, will, I will i will i will i will he's making a commitment right mm -hmm. so he's not just praising he's committing here's the thing about this song or this portion of scripture god's word though we know david had come through war with victory nowhere does he put an emphasis upon I will because or if or can you, mm -hmm. right? Right. The relationship, the love, the intimacy was that's, already there. That's, that's what we have. Amen. Yep. It was we already there. Yep. And, and he wasn't, his commitment came directly from his gratitude and understanding of God's place in his life. Wow. Right? Yeah. Not mere words of prayer or or uh, monotone, you know, m monotonous uh, sayings, mm -hmm. but relationship, right? That's the key. It's one That's thing right. to say, I love you, but it's another thing to love. That's good. You understand that? Yeah. You hear that? I said, it's one thing to say, I love you, but it's another thing to love. To love. That's where David was. Gratitude and thanksgiving must be much deeper than this habitual expression of learned behavior because of religion or church or mm -hmm. right yeah it's got to become individual i tell the church all the time which i get an expression from my good friend uh pastor sean cooper that we are individual lovers of god yeah right Amen. individual lovers of god we yes. come together corporately we worship corporately yeah but you know even someone uh the people that come and visit or what let's take sister margaret cox you know what she says every time she comes she says, this worship team, they independently worship God. That's right. They're, they're, they're working corporately, but they are worshiping God, and they're doing it with you or without you. There you go. They're worshiping God. Amen. Amen. They're not singing a song. No. They're not just performing. Nope. They're not just trying to do a good job for the audience. Nope. They're worshiping God, and that's yes. what makes them. That's why y'all crave being in worship. Uh, with Prayer Valley Worship Team because they worship God. They worship for themselves. That's Amen. Right. They Amen. worship God. I crave it. I don't know about you. I do. It helps me. All right. It yes. encourages me. It opens up an atmosphere, right? Because, and it, it's, it's the same with you. If you will begin to worship God, just like what David was saying here, he said, I will be glad and exalt in you. Yes. Hello? In you. Mm -hmm. I will be glad and exalt in in you it's personal and private it's individual and exclusive and it only comes through the ones uh, who has that it, it only comes through ones who own their relationship with God right amen yes no one can love him for you nope <laughs> amen nope I'm telling you and no one can thank him for you. No. Right? No one can worship him for you. 
you can send a letter uh, to someone that says, hey, my husband wants to thank you for doing a good job, right? Right. You know, we can do that because we're married. Yeah. So uh, the only way that you can have that expression uh, is if you're the bride of Christ. Amen. Amen. That's right. True. So my challenge, and here's my challenge to all of you, is that you begin due diligence in expressing your appreciation to the one true God alone. That's it. Participate, mm -hmm. appreciate, yes. and demonstrate. Yes. Are you listening? Amen. Participate, Good work. appreciate, and demonstrate. Show God some honor. Raise him to his proper place in your life. Yes. Right? Let God, uh, let go and express your heart to him. Mm -hmm. The act, action, or initiative of thanksgiving uh, is in full demonstration, right. not half-hearted. That's right. Full demonstration. That's right. Right? This is why when you see some of the brothers and sisters at church or even here in our home, whatever, laying on their face before the Lord. Yeah. They're just wrecked because that is in full demonstration. As the song that Kelsey, I believe, sings and says that, uh, you know, this is all I have to give. Yeah. So I'm going to give it my all. Yeah. I don't remember yeah. what that song is, but it's more or less saying, I, I, I sing a, I, a something about a hallelujah. Hallelujah. But I, sing hallelujah. I think that's it. But uh, That's it. The Bible tells us to enter into his gates with thanksgiving and enter his courts yes. with praise, right? Yes. So how are you getting in? By entering with his praises. Psalms 100, right? How yeah. Enter, the Bible says, enter into his gates with thanksgiving. Yes. And enter his courts with praise. praise. How are you getting in to the presence, right? I'm just walking right up boldly. Mm -mm. <laughs> Man, I'll tell you what, standing in the presence of God uh, is a hard place because I've tried. And every time I've tried to stand in the presence of God, he's brought me to my knees, his presence. Yeah. Amen? Amen. Every single time. You got something you want to say, Pastor Beth? Yeah. Um, that's Thessalonians. Our, that's our little dog snorting running around here. <laughs> First Thessalonians snorting. in five. I love this scripture. And it's uh, chapter 5, verse 16, and this says, Be joyful always, always. Pray continually. Give thanks in all circumstances. Amen? Amen. For this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. This is God's will. And listen, it can be easy on us if we learn to just press in, praise Him, worship Him, you know, and be joyful in this. Because I was thinking about it, you know, I've been really spending time with the Lord and I've been thinking I'm, every morning I get up and he, and you know, and be careful when you ask God to do something in your life because I've been surrendering and overcoming some areas and obstacles in my life. And he's saying, well, you got to do this. You got to do that. And my flesh is like, okay, but I've been conquering some of these areas in my life Come on, and all I could do is thank the Lord because I'm listening, but he's on, I mean, he's really coming through with me because I'm, he's like, you're passing the test. You're passing the test, Beth. Because you're more than a conqueror. I'm, because I'm determined to do what God has told me to do. I, I'm determined to conquer things in my life. Amen. And that's what God is wanting us to do Come is on. pay attention, listen to him, what he's saying. What was that scripture you read again? First Thessalonians. I heard something really powerful in there. Five, verse 16. What does it say? It says, be I joyful. Can barely see, I can barely see your Bible from here. Be joyful always. <laughs> Amen. Pray continually. What? Pray continually. Right. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Everybody's always trying to figure out God's will. I wonder what God's will is for me. Should I do this or should I well, do pray? that? Well, should God, this is God's will right, right here. here. And when you... When you begin to uh, fully demonstrate, you know, uh, in the, these areas right here, then God will fully demonstrate in God. That's right. And he will show you oh, things yes. that you've never seen. And that's what he's been doing. Right. I mean, Amen. if you want to see what you've never seen. Amen. You're going to have to go where you've never gone. And that's right? it right there. If you want to have what you've never had, you might have to be what you've never been. 
That's right. Are you listening? I'm listening. And that is in relationship with the Lord. And for those of you that want to tangibly reach out and touch the hem of his garment, you're going to have to press through the crowd. Hello. Yes. <laughs> right? Yes. You're going to have to determine within yourself. I'm not going to let shame, fear, inhibition, That's right. devils, demons, people, circumstances, finances, nothing's going to stop me. Mm -mm. I've determined within myself. Yeah. Right? I'm... I'm going to stand before the Lord one day and he's going to say, enter in my good and faithful servant, enter in my good and faithful worshiper, enter in my good. Hello. Yeah. You say, that's not biblical. Shut up. You don't know what's biblical. You don't even barely even know a scripture. <laughs> Pastor. <laughs> Pastor. I can't help it. <laughs> you guys take these last four minutes away from me or I'm going to say all kinds of things. <laughs> no, listen, thank you guys for listening. Yes. Uh, my challenge for you is exactly what I've ministered tonight. And I will expect to see people worshiping God like never yes. before. Yes. This coming Sunday. On, and, and I will be expecting people to be growing and demonstrating. Right? Right. Paul said, I do not come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom. Yeah. But I come to you in the power of and demonstration of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Right? Right. That's what David was saying when he says, I find my uh, ability to be built up yeah. in him, in yeah. you. That's right. I find it in you. My, my, what was the word exactly? Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I find, I will be glad and exalt. Exalt. In you. In you. Right? That's right. In you. Amen. Amen. So let's 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 find out what that means and begin to demonstrate it. There you go. All right. Yeah. Listen, I love you guys. Pastor Beth and I love you. Amen. You're in our prayers. Uh, we expect Always. to see you in church Sunday morning at nine AM, right? Right. So we'll see you guys here, there, or in the air. Amen. Amen. God bless. <laughs>